Well, welcome everybody. Um, here for somewhat of a major announcement. Today is Bobby Williams' 46th birthday. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you everybody Thank you. for coming. <laughs> um, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a fun day, a sad day for some of us, but uh, truly I think it's, uh, overall, it's a great day for the city of Springfield. Um, we'll talk a little bit about Bobby Williams first because I'm going to be putting Bobby Williams' name uh, forward as the new police chief. May come to somewhat of a surprise, but um, Ralph Caldwell is going to be retiring uh, in the in the next month or so. And um, talk a little bit about Bobby. Uh, he is 46 years old today. Great birthday present. But uh, you know, Bobby's been here a long time, uh, 22 plus years. But it's also served in the capacity as the assistant chief. And I think anybody uh, that's been around the police department at all knows that uh, any time that Ralph is gone, or ple any police chief's gone. It's just understood that the number two person becomes the number one. So this isn't something that uh, is just happening for the first time. Uh, Bobby's been around a long time, has uh, held a lot of uh, different positions at the city, uh, but has been a true asset to the entire uh, organization. You know, um, Ralph's going to be leaving. He's going to be taking over the 911 center in Champaign. And um, he'll be here for a few more weeks. Um, hopefully I'll give uh, both of them some time to make sure that they work on things that they have to to make sure that that transition goes as smooth as we expect it to be. Uh, but uh, once uh, once Ralph is, uh, is gone on, then there'll be a, a new chief there. I, I still need to uh, put Bobby's name forward, as everyone knows, for the city council for final approval. And um, uh, right now, we're not going to talk about any other type of, uh, of command changes. Right now, as you well know, he was uh, the assist is the assistant chief of police, and uh, we're trying to get through a budget time right now as far as what we do about any other changes in command staff. So for the time being, uh, we're not going to be doing anything. We're going to let things stay the way they are. We've got a great command staff uh, that's here already, and uh, we'll talk about that in the future. That's not what it's about today. Well, um, you know, as anyone in the senior staff, you've had to make some tough decisions, but I think I've made some fair decisions. So on that note, I'm, I'm fairly certain that the uh, department will be, uh, I won't say 100% behind me, but overwhelmingly uh, behind me as well as support me. Now, obviously, it's a tough time to, to go out and, and hire people if the city's looking at a budget deficit, but uh, do you have any concerted efforts to, to change the, the demographics a little bit on the force? Well, that's been one of my personal missions since I joined the department over 22 years ago. Again, I don't uh, look at it as far as specific numbers, but I do think as an agency, we do need to be more reflective of the community that we serve. And I also know the uh, many assets that, uh, being a diverse agency, the many assets that it brings, and I'm a, a firm believer and supporter of that. And uh, I will continue to do, not only through my formal, if I'm uh, chosen to be the chief of a police, but also informally, I will always be a recruiter for the Springfield Police Department, and we will try to work on the issues like the ones uh, you just mentioned. 